the Nishtrivedi said, and Saket must respond, one, that it's not as if the minister or anybody in the railways board has particularly said they suspect sabotage more than the other theories. They're saying that all cases need to be looked at, all aspects, uh, whether it's negligence, system failure, human error, whether it's sabotage. So why then make it seem as if the CBI probe will somehow try and cover the systemic failure? Let the agency probe, let's try and find out. You are as keen on finding out as everybody else what really happened. Hi Rahul, so first of all, I'd like to point out something very interesting here. I don't know what the BJP is up to, but I was on your channel on Saturday night. And just before me, Mr. Dinesh Trivedi had appeared on the show. And on Saturday itself, he was very vehemently claiming that there is a sabotage angle. So Mr. Dinesh Trivedi had claimed sabotage even before the railway board claimed it, which was yesterday or today. So I have no idea how Mr. Dinesh Trivedi knew there was sabotage on Saturday night before the railway board actually recommended that to the minister allegedly on Sunday Monday before. I have no idea how we found out. But let's not get into that. I don't want to engage with what you said. The simple question here is, if there is a power play that is suspected, because that is only when you bring in the CBI. CBI is a criminal investigation agency. The FIR that has been filed by the railway police today in Balasore, on which the CBI will be investigating the case, the sections in the FIR, if you look at them, the section that the FIR register is section 377, 338, 304A of the IPC. All of these sections relate to causing death by negligence. Number one. Number two, there is no section applied for a criminal conspiracy. There is no 120B in this FIR. So the charges in this FIR that has been filed by the railway police, which the CBI is investigating, are alleging death due to negligence. No, but that's the initial FIR as the probe uh, is carried forward. If there is reason to add sections, that can always be done. But the question is, prima facie, even they are saying that there is negligence. Now, until yesterday, yesterday morning, the railway minister gave a statement saying the railway board has uh, submitted uh, the preliminary findings. I have seen a copy of the findings, the four-page handwritten note, by the way. It clearly says that this is an issue with interlocking is what it said. Then the government went to explain now electronic interlocking and how it could not have been to cover blah, blah, all of that. Then suddenly, there is this thing about a CBI inquiry. Before the railway, that is even completed. I mean, the railway board's final report has not come out yet. Now, as far as the railway board being professor at Mr. Privedi said, the railway board still reports to the railway minister. It's not an independent body like the CAG. It's not an independent body like the election commission. No, but these are now, once again, Sakit, that's being unfair because these are hardcore professionals, engineers, technicians, and it's also their professional reputation. If this accident happens on somebody's watch, it's not just Ashwini, Vaishnava, Prime Minister Modi's fault, it's these officers and their professional credibility, their reputation rides on this. Rahul, I get it, but then the question remains that why are we then casting aspersions on the letter that was written by a Southeastern Railway officer three months ago, which pointed out that there are serious deficiencies in the interlocking system. If the people without entering the wheeler room can actually change the interlocking on the track, it should not be allowed to be done. It's signaled in February of 2023. The question is the professionals have brought this to the attention of their superior several times. Okay.